Oh, hiya, and thanks so much for taking the time to watch my video. Um, this video is going to be to help anybody that is looking to, um, if you like, make money online. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that um, I'm all about trying to help people, if you like, like, like myself, who are like self-employed and who are looking to make um, um, more money for their family, because that's the only reason I do it. Um, I, I am constantly, um, always looking to help and improve my my circumstances, and obviously with that, obviously more importantly, the people that I love and cherish, obviously, in, in my home. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is to try and help you if you're, if you're struggling to make money on online i'm going to give you a few ideas what i do to make money online and uh, obviously um, yeah that you can obviously copy um something that i've recently started doing is is looking more at actually selling online um uh, doing retail and what i've uh, i'm just going to talk about what i've recently started doing and obviously how it's going i've just literally in the last couple of days put up a site um, online of a, um, for something that I used to sell in my shops years ago. I used to I used to sell years ago belt buckles. I used, I was going to show you one. I used to sell these. These are um, if you like belt buckles that you clip onto a belt and you um, you actually use them to obviously hold your trousers up. Might seem obvious, but I'm just showing you one there. And the reason I'm showing that, I've just started selling these online. And I'm going to tell you about what I've done to actually um, try and promote my site. I've actually gone to a site, a, um, a, a, an e-commerce site called, um, called uh, Shopify. Now, I'm not affiliated with Shopify in any way. I'm just telling you what I've done. I've actually just created a site. It's very easy to do. Um, uh, shopify.co.uk or shopify.com you know you just enter your email and it's very very straightforward you can sh you can set up a platform it's very similar to eBay the only difference is that with a uh, Shopify you pay like a monthly subscription but you don't pay fees you only, I think you only pay fees on the on the transaction so when obviously someone buys through Shopify obviously through your site they then obviously charge you fees on the on the amount of money that you've sold. So they're not actually charging you like eBay. They charge you like a seller fee. Shopify don't do that. So that's why I've decided to actually go with them. Now, what I've done, um, having a having a, um, a website and uploading your details to a site is very simple. Yeah, you know, obviously it's not difficult. And if if you need help, they can actually help you with that as well. Um, but the trouble with any site is that um, you might have the best product in the world, but unless you can actually get traffic to that site, um, then you're going to struggle. So I'm going to talk about what I'm doing now to actually help me get people to look at my site. One of the things I'm going to start doing is like this video. I've, got more, I've just reg registered the domain name www.beltbucklesdirect dot co dot uk now that's what i'm going to use www.beltbucklesdirect.co.uk so in my videos i'm going to be i'm going to be showing people my products and obviously telling them about my site where they can actually go and buy these buckles now you need to do the same it might be that you're selling i don't know different things makeup you might be selling uh, shoes you might be selling um gift items things that you make you need to start doing YouTube videos and showing people your products. Yeah, that's one thing you can do. The other thing that I'm gonna, I, I, I have actually started doing is I've actually had leaflets done. So I've had leaflets with my belt buckles and my shop www.beltbucklesdirect.co.uk on all my leaflets. Now. When I've got a few minutes, because obviously I do other things, this is a sideline, I go out putting leaflets out, advertising my shop. 
what is on my leaflet? I've got a picture of all my different buckles that I do, and I've also got on my leaflet my Facebook page, right? So I've updated my, you can create a page on Facebook. You need to be doing this. You need to get your friends. You know, if you've got, you know, obviously you've got, everyone knows people. Say to your friends, can you do me a favor? Can you go to my Facebook page and can you, can you um, um, share my page? Can you like my page? Can you share my page? Yeah, these you need to get your business out there. Yeah, I remember a guy years ago. I told her I won't go into his company, but I said to him, you know, Matt, you might be the best carpenter in the world. You might be the best plumber in the world. But if people don't know what you do, you need to start putting your ads on Facebook. You need to start sharing. You need to start boosting your page. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm, I'm just getting my, this is a new business that I'm actually starting. Once I've got more and more on there, I'm going to start boosting my page. Boosting my, you know, boosting, getting more likes on Facebook. It's a must. Because there's people earning fortunes at this. I mean, I ain't saying I am at the minute. This actually, what I'm doing here, is a new is a new venture. But I'm going to start, you know, blitzing my local area. Because obviously, people, if they want to buy these through my site, they can buy them through my site. But on my leaflets, I've I've, I've actually put on the leaflet. If you live in Clacton on Sea, where I live, I'll actually come and deliver the item for free. They haven't got to pay three pound fifty postage. Straight away, it's making that it's making that item more attractive. Yeah, you need to start doing these. You need to start thinking of ways. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to start grouping these items together. Like one of one of my collections is is this, and there's a um, there's one like this. I just want to show you. You know, there's one like that. Another another British bulldog one. Uh, what's this one here? There's one here of a, there's one here of a horse that I've not actually, I've not actually put on my site yet. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start, you know, buckles that are similar. You might have like, you know, grouping two or three items together, and then knocking like one pound fifty off each buckle. Yeah, so people can actually buy it, and you know, I'm going to look to in the future start selling wholesale. You know, so people buying them off me and selling them cheaper. I might struggle a bit with that because obviously they can go direct to the source of the actual manufacturers. But it don't stop me having a local shop who wants to buy perhaps four or five off me and start putting a few in his shop. This is how we need to start thinking. If you've got a business and you sell something and you're not selling on Facebook, you're leaving money on the table. Yeah. If you've got a car, I've not done this yet, but I'm going to do it because uh, I actually do sign writing. I'm going to put a sign on my car, belt buckles, you know, for all your belt buckles, beltbucklesdirect.co.uk. All right, that's going to cost money. It ain't going to cost me nothing because I can, um, I can do my own signs. I do vinyl signs. But you need to, this is what you need to do. You need to think about the appearance of your company. You need to get a decent website done. You know, shop window ads. I'm going to start putting these adverts in shop windows. My, my mate Chris, he does photocopying. When I'm going to get him to do me some leaflets, some colour leaflets, that I can actually put on like a postcard and put a, uh, put put this in a shop window. Christmas is coming up. Yeah, I want to start advertising my site. This is what you need to be doing if you if you've got a um. A business because if you've got a business and you've got things that you can sell people are only going to buy them if they're visible now you might be thinking well that's obvious mate it might be obvious but do people know about what you've got for sale do they know where to go to buy it you know I've just mentioned my mate Chris he's got a, he's got a um, in the in the uh, Clacton area he's got a um, a local magazine that he gives out. It's a circular that advertises local tradesmen. You know, you should be in that circular. You know, he's got a, you know, um, he probably won't mind me mentioning, he's got a magazine called The Apex. Yeah, Apex Advertiser. And he, uh, um, 
you know, that is fantastic. If you're looking to get more work, if you're a builder, a plumber, a plasterer, and you're in the Cl Clacton area, you should be in that magazine. It, it's not there. And it, it will advertise, it will give your business, um, um, it, will, it will promote your brand. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I hope, you've, I, hope you're, I hope you got a bit of inspiration from my video. You know, if you've got a business, whether you're selling something, you know, you might be a person that's looking to buy something. It might be that you want to start buying and selling cars and that you'll buy cars for cash. You need to start promoting what you're doing. Adverts in shop windows, I'll buy your car for cash. I'll buy your... Unwanted, unwanted Star Wars toys for cash. People need to know what you do. If they don't know what you do, if they don't know what you buy or sell, then they're not going to phone you. I hope this has been of help. Please like and subscribe. And uh, um, if you're a self-employed person, you need to start watching my other videos because I can dramatically help your business. Thank you.